And it's road trip day. Hello and welcome to Scardcast. You are going to follow me on this journey to the capital city bloodbath, which is a 110 person major 40k ITC GT in Ottawa, hence capital city. So sit tight, enjoy. It's six games. I'm taking the Drukari. It's road trip time. Say hello to my brother. <laughs> Let's begin. Dark kid. Okay, quick little video before we head out. We are en route and we're gonna follow us in this amazing journey. I've got Chris. Say hello, Chris. Hey, my brother up? in the back there. And uh, we're gonna blur out his face. Can't tell you who he is. <laughs> Jason, any predictions before A we start guest. for the. Yes, yeah, secret guest. What's your predictions for the weekend before we even get going? Chris. Uh, I'm going to predict I'm going to win at least one. Uh, well, <laughs> aim low and you won't miss. <laughs> Jason? Um, I'm going to I'm gonna make a throw a big Hail Mary prediction here. Either you or Tim is going to win the event. Oh, okay, cool. Well, thank you. I appreciate the, the props. But how do you think your army will do? I think I'll be all right. Uh, I'm hoping to win more than I lose. Okay, That's my nice. Goal. If we're betting who's going to win, my bet's always on Devin. Devin, Devin's yeah, fine. He's good, he's definitely team. he's definitely yeah. up there. Me and Devin, are, uh, he's up he's up on me two one. Yeah. If I do face him, I'd love to tie it up, but he's probably gonna take it. And then we've got the defending champion Eric, um, so he's gonna be defending champion. And now last year at the CCBB, I went um, three and three, so I won three and I lost three. So yeah, with, my with index dark. yeah with the index dark elder. So my goal is to go at least five and one, but uh, I definitely feel like I've got a list that could do really well. Uh, you know, uh, pairings and matchups and a little bit of luck on your side usually goes a long way too. Anyway, we will return as we continue, and everybody's having some fun. Okay, the capital city bloodbath in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. It was about a five and a half, almost six hour drive. Great road trip times, driving up and down the back roads, ready to throw some dice. We arrived at the hall a day early before the event. Let's take a look at what happened. Okay, we came in on the Friday. This is the hall without people. <laughs> ah, that's right. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And then Chris is diligently setting up his stuff. Look at his army. Looks cool. Then we got Darren playing. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, and I'm here with Denith. Hey guys. Yeah. From Brisbane, Australia. That's really exciting. Came all the way from the BAO, right? Oh, well, I. I visited yeah. the BA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now he's playing at the Capital City Bloodbath in Canada. Right now he's playing Darren from Canhammer. Say hello, Darren. Yola. You guys are playing, no spoilers or anything, just deployment right now. It's yeah. a bad report. We'll be up on the channel soon. So check out Canhammer's channel. And see you tomorrow. Enjoy the game. Of course. But Thank you. International. That's crazy. Anyway, yeah, have a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, oh, man. yeah, so. Um, so we're going to go to the Airbnb, we're going to hang out for the night, do some stuff, and then we'll be in in the morning, right Jason? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Has your prediction changed at all? Do you think you're going to want to win more than you lose? That's my, that's my goal. I like it. But uh, we'll see. Okay. Awesome. Anyway guys, see you tomorrow and it's really loud in here. So we start with round one, playing Inari. Kieran brought his gorgeously painted Inari army. So I was in for a tough fight. So let's dive right into the action of day one. Okay, and it's round one, and everyone is playing. It's amazing, good stuff. Hey, Chris. Um, I'm playing Kieran and his Inari. It's gonna be really fun. Josh Death, how are you, sir? What's up? How you doing? Not too bad. Say hi for all the all the peeps. What's I like up, the tie, dude? looking Thanks, snazzy. That is awesome. Okay. And this is Kieran. Say hello, Kieran. Hello. And hello, Kieran. <laughs> hello, hello, Kieran. So his Inari army looks gorgeous. 
It's uh, he. I didn't see. He's going first. So we'll see if I can withstand the onslaught. Okay, end of round one. I won my first game. One out of six. Five more to go. That's a whole GT still to go. Kieran's dice went ice cold. I've never seen someone roll so terribly. Um, so it was. It wasn't really much of a like a very tactical game from turn like one and a half to it was pretty much over. Um, but I got a, a good roll. Now we're moving up to the second round. And this is the hall. Really, the terrain's fantastic. So I'm gonna go do some pictures of the, of the armies, things like that. There's even a recording table, they're recording for Canhammer. And uh, let's go see how some of the guys did. Walking around the hall to see all the armies on display really brought the vibrance and the passion and dedication of every single player that was there to the forefront. The love, the care, the affection that every player puts into their collection, their display, their composition of their lists. The field was quite varied. There were a lot of Inari, a lot of Tau, a lot of Knights and Imperials. So, round two, I was facing off against Alex. Now, I had played Alex the final round at the Canhammer team tournament, and this time he brought Magnus and Mortarion, seeking revenge. Okay, round number two, and I'm playing Alex. Haha, -ha, look at him thinking. He's brought Morty, Mort uh, Magnus, uh, Arman, two demon princes, a lord of iron warriors, and a Slanesh um, sorcerer as well, with two large blobs of Slanesh um, cultists. And it's hammer and anvil, and we're playing the three, the three objectives. One, two, three. Can you guess where most of the fighting is going to happen? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, moving on to the game. Okay, we're here at round two. Oh, who invited him? No, just kidding. Come here, come here. So, round two. How'd it go? How's the tournament going, guys? So, the tournament's going pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so you brought Tyranids, right, Jeff? Yep, Tyranids. Cool. And uh, two and two, two and zero. Oh. One and zero. One and zero. Okay. One Josh and dead. Oh, you got murdered by those planes. I got murdered by the planes. Okay. How did? How would your guys do? You win two wins. Two wins. I'm two wins. Two wins. Oh, I won my one. last game too. So hey, two we're wins. In. We're two yeah. wins. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, sorry. Dad. You're good. Okay. Uh, everything's fun. We'll go around round two. Now it's food. Food time. I'm excited. Okay. Food time. So it was food time. Got to see some more of the gorgeous armies, from Max's Space Marines, all the way to some other Imperials, like Blood Angels. There was a lot of uh, Blood Angels, Knights, and Imperial Guard combinations. Also, West's gorgeous Ultramarine Army. He won Best Presentation at the Canhammer Team Tournament. And David Koska's really cool ad mech list. So... Going into round three, I was going to be playing against Knights in Imperial Guard. I was very interested to see how this list would go. Normally, Knights don't pose a big issue, but this Knight was not any ordinary Knight. Okay, round three, and I'm playing Josh. Hello. Yeah, he's run a Forge World Knight, a couple of Helverins, uh, sorry, Armagers. Armagers. Armagers? Armagers. Warglades. Warglades. Uh, three Knight tanks. A basilisk, an imperial tank farm. It's turn three, two now. Turn, turn two. Turn two. Turn two. Turn two. This guy's been really tough. He kills Talos like a boss. There's been a lot of fun so far. Um, and right now, uh, it's going to be a tight turn. This second turn is going to be a big turn. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, we're off to round three. And Dustin is here with me. Our concepts. Our concepts. Is he. Um, he hey, hasn't died. He hasn't, he hasn't died, died yet. yet. Jason, come join us. After, <laughs> yeah, come join us. He hasn't died yet. He has not died. How was your game, Jason? It was a win for me. Win so for you. Two and one. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Good job. It was like a mirror match, though. His oh, so was like, oh, you killed Mortarion? I did. Yay! Yeah. Yeah, I, I killed him with plague bears. Though. Oh shit! Like, just double damage plague bears. <laughs> double damage plague bears. Yeah. That works. They were because great. They're like minus two to hit, so it was harder for him to do his little sweep attacks and. Just wore him down eventually. He finally killed one unit, then I deep struck a unit nine inches away and then charged him that's and awesome. tied him up again. Yeah, Mortaron is a beast. But if you can kill him, that's good. 
And you had a loss, but you played Devin Swan. I played Devin Swan. <laughs> one of the toughest, like, opponents you can play at this tournament, yeah. so... Against, uh, yeah, Mirror Match as well, so... Although uh, you surprised him with a... With an Avatar of Kane. Avatar of Kane resurging against a bunch of Shining Spears. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. And then he tried to vect you, and then... He tried to vect me, and then I tried to vect him. I rolled a six, though, so he spent the command points, and then I rolled a bunch of dice to get my command points back. Ooh, like six. Beautiful, I love it. Vecting great. someone's vect is only something a Dark Eldar will understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing cool about it. Um, I did end up winning my match. Uh, turned around turn three when I killed that big knight that was in the middle of my army. And then I was able to hold tight for 25 to 18 win. Wow. It was, so it was tight. It was tight. Yeah. That, okay. That night's scary, eh? That night is scary. It killed all my tailors really fast. <laughs> <laughs> they normally don't die quickly. They don't die at so, all. Just, just so six, straight six damage. Straight six damage. Rerolling hits and wounds. Five attacks. Hitting on twos. It was, yeah, it was nasty. Um, okay. Well, let's go on to one more round. Round four. Oh my god, there's another one. Okay. okay. Oh, Chris. Chris. Hiya. Hey. How was your last game? Uh, 27 Shining Spears. And did you win? Uh, I think my kind of, I had two kind of effects shoot once each the entire game. And that was it? That was that it. Was it. That was a, it was a wrap. Uh, I got countered. I couldn't think of a bigger counter than that. Yeah, it's usually pretty tough, especially with three units of Spears in Ari. Okay, guys, stay tuned for round four. Then it was round four. And I haven't really talked about my list. My list was based off of the list I took to the ETC with a few changes here and there. A, a Coven, Prophets of Flesh Battalion with six Talos, six Grotesques, uh, 25 Racks, Urien, and a Homunculus, and a Cabalite Spearhead with three Ravagers, two Raised Wings, and an Archon. Pretty straightforward list, but it played very well. Now, my round four was against Derek and his Knights. Imperial Guard and Custodes. The Castellan was probably the biggest threat and I didn't take any video because I was so enthralled in the game. It all came down to turn two when I pushed into his lines towards his single objective because that's a single objective mission and his returning shooting did absolutely nothing. So with that, took another route around the hall. At the end of the day. Went home, you know, and kind of reflecting on the size of the event, I was four wins and zero losses. I had already improved and reached my goal of improving from last year. There was a lot of knights, a lot of raven guard, uh, well, space marines, uh, there was even some tesseract bolts, necron armies, Lots of Mort Mortarions and Magnuses and different lists, demons, but a lot of Imperials using Custodes, Imperial Guard. All the lists were really eclectic. Pairings went up, and in round five, I was to face none other than Josh Death, number three ranked player at the time in ITC Global Rankings, and he had one of the most eclectic Astra Militarum Blood Angel lists of all. Uh -huh. I get to be famous on Ridvin. You do. Hey, how's it going? I'm sporting, sporting the three brother sponsor. Got to, got to do the, you know, the shameless games. plug. <laughs> I am playing Josh Death at round five at the Capital City Blood Bar. It's for all the marbles. It's for, for all, all the marbles. All the marbles. This, is, this is the game, even though there's one more game after this. Yeah, but it's against one of the guys who went to the strip club and got drunk last night. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're completely drunk. Okay. So it's uh, a bunch of Imperial Guard stuff. It's a very toolboxy list versus my Drakari list. It's Which gonna is be also fun. fairly toolboxy, I want to Very point out. toolboxy. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, the heroes. So we got all the hero stuff. Okay. Other than that, enjoy. Let's have some fun, Mr. Josh. Have a great yeah. game, sir. Good luck, brother. I don't, it's going to be great. I'm looking gentle, forward to this it's game. Be gentle. It's my first time. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Urien Rakoth. He's never gentle. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. All right. The game against Josh Death was one of the most intense games I've had in a very long time. Those Marauder Bombers can really put a wrench in someone's plans. Now we were playing the Heroes ITC mission and I got first turn which was huge. Target priority in my game and the tactical maneuvering of my units to use them later in game proved to be 
what allowed me to win that game. I was able to knock down both Marauder Bombers relatively quickly in the first two turns, zone out his Captain Smash Face guys and his uh, infiltrating or outflanking Talan Shadow Sword that you didn't see in the video. And at the e end of turn three, he had uh, about 20 guardsmen left, a Valkyrie and two characters, while I had most of my heavy hitters intact. Needless to say, Josh was a fantastic sport and one of the most tactical players I've played in a long time. And there's no doubt in my mind he will be up there at the LVO and at the top of the rankings this season. It was an absolute pleasure to play against him. So with that, five games under my belt. Let's recap, shall we? I was going into game six undefeated at the largest singles event in Canada. I had played against Kieran and his Inari, taken the win in the first round. Fantastic game, his dice definitely had betrayed him that game. Played against Alex in the second game, killed Mortarian and Magnus and a bunch of cultists um, with my Talos and Urien being absolute beasts that game. In the third round, I played Josh, and his Astra Militarum and Knights and had almost lost because I underestimated the power of that four jewel knight. And then I would played Derek as well and he had also Knights and Custodes. So going then after playing Josh Death, it was a face off between Tim and myself. I was facing another Inari army. So this was it. It was the culmination of traveling to Croatia, playing on the ETC Canadian team. It was a, all the practice games, two, maybe three games a week, practicing against a variety of different opponents. But not only the gaming aspect, the hobby aspect as well, your guys' support, fueling me, building the display board, doing battle reports, you know, just bringing the vision of the army itself to the forefront every single step of the way the travel the trip the good laughs the sad times the happy times the good luck the bad luck was all coming to fruition tim and i had even test practiced our own armies against each other before this event and regardless of who won the trophy was coming home played tim and wow, that was a very close tight game. It was a chess clock game, so I didn't really take any footage during the game. Um, but I did win, so let's go to the ceremony. And that was it. After all that, I had won the Capital City Bloodbath 2018, going 6 and 0. Oh. Best overall was a combination of not only generalship but it was also a combination of hobby scores and sportsmanship scores all added together to take the top spots. The prize support was fantastic. The generalship and the general, the feel of everybody playing was great. And I cannot recommend this event enough. If you can come next year to the Capital City Bloodbath 2019, I'm very excited that I will have to be there to defend my title. But, a huge shout out to everybody who supported me on this journey so far. You guys are awesome. As of now, I am currently the number 9 ranked ITC in the world, and the number 1 Drukari player. So a huge shout out to everyone. Thank you so much to all the Patreons to the channel who make this dream possible. Check the link down below if you'd like exclusive tactical content, asking me questions, and access to the chat and the denizens of the Dark City. You guys are awesome. This is Skari, out.